Good Monday, makers. It's time to check out this week's community builds. We've got five really unique ones, all kinds of cool techniques and hacks incorporated into them. Let's jump in and check them out. First up is this four-wheeler cover from Eugene. He shared this picture a few weeks back of a drawing that he did or found of something that he wanted to recreate with conduit and our connectors. You can see it's really detailed. It's got some uh, dimensions of the pipes here and just a really great drawing and a great plan, which is always a good thing to have when you're going into a project. And he figured out what connectors he needed and then built it. Here it is attached to his trailer and it looks awesome. You can see the conduit runs along the rails of the trailer. And then he's got some really intricate bins that look nice and some connections with T's. I see some 180's. Uh, he also did some, I think, 135 degree connectors at the top to create the, the angled roof here. And he said he wanted to prevent snow from pooling on top, which is a smart thing to do because you don't want that weight to build up and then fall on the four-wheeler. So he did the arches and different things uh, in the bins to create this uh, you know, angled roof. And he said at the very front, you can see there's eye bolts here. He drilled through the trailer rail, added the eye bolt, and secured it in place, one on each side here. And he's able to hinge the whole frame of the cover off of the trailer just by picking it up and swinging it using those eye hooks because the conduit's captured in the eye part of the, the bolt and it just kind of rotates inside there and hinges, which is really clever and a really great thing to keep in mind if you want to do something similar or if you just want to incorporate a hinge in your build at all, it's a good one to keep in mind. Thanks so much, Eugene, for sharing this. It came out awesome. Really appreciate you sending it over. Next up is a project from Steve, and this is a parking structure shade that he built. You can see that he's got a carport already here. He's got his truck under there, but he wanted to extend that and basically add a roof, um, whether he's going to park over here, another vehicle, or maybe just wanted to keep the weather from you know coming in from the side and hitting the vehicle. But either way, came out awesome, and you can see that he used conduit. Uh, there's It's broken up in the middle. There's a rib that goes all the way down. And I wanted to point out, he used four-way and five-way connectors here, and you can see there's no middle uh, pipe in the connector. Now, normally we recommend that you do that. It's always a good idea for the connector to work as it should. You need that middle pipe. But in some cases like this, uh, he needed to extend this, but he didn't want to put a vertical that goes down to the ground because then he couldn't park under there. So he left them empty. Instead of leaving it empty, I would recommend either putting a short stub of conduit. That will squish a lot, but it's better than nothing. But really, the best solution is to get some of the rigid conduit couplings and put those in place of a pipe there. That'll really make sure the connector is strong and clamping down like it's supposed to on the rest of the pipes in the build. That's the only thing I wanted to mention there, but it looks like he's got a lot of bracing with adjustable angle connectors, and it's attached over here. It looks like he's got T-post and he's got the verticals secured to those T-posts, I think with zip ties, um, and they're probably staked into the ground also, um, the, the pipes as well as the T-posts. So sure, it's strong. It looks like a great solution. He said he's happy with it, and he's got the, the shade material inside of the rectangle part of the frame. It looks like zip ties pulling it tight through the grommets. Looks really awesome. Thanks so much, Steve, for sharing those pictures. We're glad you had a good experience. We appreciate the review. Next up is a build from William, and he said he built a stand uh, that also doubles as a shelf for his gerbil. And somebody commented and said it looked more like a guinea pig. I'm not really sure. I don't know the difference, but whatever it is, it is awesome, and this build came out great. Here's some pictures of the frame. We can see the connectors that he used. It uh, looks like 90-degree connectors to create a rectangle uh, frame, and then he's got two rungs going all the way around using 90s. Um, and then once it flips over... As we can see here, this is where the top part is the enclosure sits on, and then this middle section becomes a shelf. And what's really cool is he added some threaded pipe inserts into the verticals, and that allowed him to thread on these really small caster wheels. So now he's able to roll the whole stand around. If you want to get under there and vacuum or just move it around, you're able to really easily, and that's a great thing to keep in mind. If you didn't see our video Saturday, we actually talked about this along with other solutions for adding feet to your builds. Definitely check that out if you're looking to, you know, add some different things like protection or adjustability, mobility, and all kinds of stuff. Definitely check out that video if you're interested. I'll link it down below. This is a really awesome build. Looks like they're enjoying it, and it came out great. So thanks so much for sharing that, William. Really appreciate it. Next up is a hack from Merrick, and he said he found these general use clips that work great for attaching fabric. Basically, these are kind of like the office clips that you probably know of. They're like triangular shaped and you squeeze them. They fit over a bundle of paper. 
Well, these are round, and you basically do the same thing. You just squeeze it, and it goes around the conduit. And that's a really great hack. I've never seen these before, so I really appreciate Merrick sharing these. It looks like a, an awesome solution to attach fabric and other things to your build. I want to pick some of these up and you know, maybe do a short on them or something because it seems like a really great solution. So thanks so much, Merrick, for sharing that. Looks like a, a, an awesome thing that you can incorporate into builds. Next up is a build from Gordon, and this is a really beautiful trellis. They have this really nice backyard area, this garden here. You can see they've got a privacy fence all the way around. They've got a lemon tree, and they've got these steel raised garden beds that they wanted to build trellises for. They're going to add some, you know, climbing plants in here. And basically, they just use this four-foot hoop bender to basically bend verticals that go up and then hoop over an arch and connect to their fence using adjustable angle connectors. And then they added the trellis material and the netting to the frames and created this trellis for the plants. Looks really beautiful, came out awesome. Once the plants start climbing up there, they'll be able to walk through and have this just really cool walkway with the arch over it. Looks really awesome. Thanks so much for sharing this, looks great. And uh, this bender is something to keep in mind. Uh, I've seen a lot of the greenhouse companies sell these for EMT conduit because you can basically create the same diameter hoop over and over again, which works great for builds like this. Or if you're doing hoop houses and you need 20 spaced apart pieces of conduit for a hoop house, then you can use these or other sizes to um, build and get the exact same diameter every time. So that's something to keep in mind. But all kinds of great builds. Thanks, everybody, for sending them in. We love doing these episodes. You guys are always blowing us away with your creativity and uniqueness, so keep sending them in. We'll keep doing these episodes. If you like the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.